This is the Ulanzi VL15 and VL30 ultra portable mini LED lights. Let's open them up and see what you can do with them. Quick disclaimer, Ulanzi sent me these products completely for free, but this video is not sponsored. So this is what you get inside the boxes of the lights. You get a USB-C cable, the light itself with a diffusion and a user manual. I'm going to move this aside. Now, what is the difference between the Ulanzi VL15 to the Ulanzi VL30? The Ulanzi VL15 supports RGB lighting and the Ulanzi VL30 does not. The price for the Ulanzi VL30 is 13 US dollars on the Ulanzi website and about 16 dollars on Amazon and the price for the Ulanzi VL15 is about 16 dollars on Ulanzi's website and about 18 dollars on the Amazon store. So the major difference between them is that one of them supports RGB and one of them does not. Now let's take a look at the build quality. These lights are built completely out of plastic so it does not have a metal premium feel to it, but it feels okay, I guess, uh, for the price. Let's see what is the weight of these lights. So each light weighs about 41 grams. Very, very lightweight and compact. The only port that you have on this light is a USB-C port to charge the lights. And you also have just one button to completely control the lights. So you don't have any dials. As you can see, the size of this light is pretty compact. So if you're gonna use uh, this light with something like a GoPro vlogging setup, it's gonna be pretty much perfect for vlogging. It's lightweight and it's also compact. Nice and compact package to do vlogs in low light conditions. This is how the size of the Ulanzi VL15 and 30 compares to the Ulanzi VL49 which is also a really compact light but this is pretty much half the size of the Ulanzi VL49. All right now let me turn on the lights for the first time. So on the left I have the VL15 the RGB light and on the right I have the VL30 as you can see. Very simple to turn on and off just hold the power button, they on pretty much. Okay, now let's see what you can do with these small little lights. All right, so I have both of the lights mounted on a light stand. I have the VL30 and the VL15. And by the way, I forgot to mention you before that you can mount this light either with a cold zoom or it also has a quarter inch thread at the bottom. Now let's see how fairly color accurate these lights are. I think the VL30 is supposed to be 5600 Kelvin daylight light, and I'm not really sure about the VL15, so let's see how both of them look like when it comes to color. Okay, so this is how both of the lights look when they are on. Uh, on the bottom I have the VL30, and on the top I have the VL15, and as you can see, the colors look completely different. Uh, the VL15 is more cold, more bluish, and the VL30 is more warm, uh, looks a lot more like daylight. So let's see how it looks uh, back on the wall. And now I have only the VL30 turned on. I'm gonna turn it off, and now turn on the VL15. And as you can see, the color is definitely different compared to the VL30. And if you're thinking that I'm using RGB on the VL15, I am not. This is the white color option on the VL15. And it definitely looks different to the VL30 in terms of color. Now let's see how bright both of these lights can get. I'm going to start with the VL30. Just going to put it on the back. And I think this is the first uh, brightness option, brightness setting. And let's change it up. Now it's the second brightness option setting, the third one, the fourth one, and then we have SOS setting. Again, first one, second one, third one, fourth one, which is pretty bright, especially for the size, and then we have SOS. Now, unfortunately, on the VL15, we can't really change brightness. It has only one brightness setting, at least as far as I know. If I'm gonna press the button, it's just gonna change the color, but it's not gonna uh, increase the brightness. 
But if we look at the RGB colors option, it gets fairly bright, especially the green color, as you can see. It's pretty bright, especially for the size. And then we have blue, which is also pretty bright. More blue, uh, purple, violet. Now let me show you what you can do with these lights in real life scenarios. Let's start with the rim light, kicker light option. Okay, so right now I'm using the VL30 as a rim light, kicker light, and it definitely makes a difference. As you can see, I have a light in here. If I'm gonna move my hand, you're gonna see a shadow. Okay, and the light is set to the maximum brightness settings. This is as bright as it can get. And also the light is about two and a half meters away from me, something like that. Now let's turn on the VL15 with an RGB color and see how that looks like as a rim light. And right now I'm using the VL15 with the green color option and as you can see, it definitely makes a difference. But also at the same time, because this light does not have a grid, uh, it basically splashes color all over the background. Now let's see how these lights will work as a background light and so on. All right, so right now I'm not using any background lights. And first let's turn on the Ulanzi VL30 at its maximum brightness setting and then we're going to turn on the Yulanzi VL15 with an RGB color and see how that looks like. So this is how it looks when the VL30 is turned on and let me turn it off. This is off and on and off and on. It definitely makes a difference, but this light is definitely not a good light to use as a background light because it's simply not powerful enough. Now let's turn on the VL15 and see how that light looks like. And now the VL15 is turned on with the green color and I think actually it looks okay, especially for the size. You can definitely see some green in the background and I can also change the color if I want to. So now I have blue, uh, stronger blue, purple, white, and this is cycling through the colors. I think the best color options, the strongest ones are green and, and blue, this blue definitely makes a huge difference in my opinion. Now the final test that I want to do is to see how much of a difference these small Ulanzi lights make when vlogging with a GoPro. At the moment I'm using my GoPro Hero 9 Black. I'm filming in 4K, 24 frames per second. ISO minimum is set to 100 and ISO maximum is set to 1600. And as you can see, this picture looks pretty awful, noisy and my face is dark. So let me turn on the Ulanzi VL30 light and just to see how much of a difference it's going to make when vlogging with the GoPro. So three, two, one and boom. Right now I have the light set to the lowest uh, brightness setting and it looks already better because I can definitely see my face properly exposed in the front facing screen. Let me turn off the light for one moment just to show you the difference. So now no light at all. And now with the light, looks so much better. Now let me cycle through the brightness settings just to show you how much of a difference it makes when I'm gonna have the light at the maximum level. So this is the first brightness uh, setting, second one, third one, and then this is the maximum brightness setting. And obviously you can also switch it to SOS mode if you want to. All right, now finally, I just want to put this thing. This is a diffusion thing I, that came with the light. I want to put it on the light and see if it makes a big difference or not. And now this is with the diffusion and honestly, I can barely see any difference because the GoPro screen is so tiny and small. So let me know down below if you see a difference when not using a diffusion on this small light and then using. Let me remove it again. So this is without diffusion and this is with diffusion. Do you see any difference? 
let me know down below. Okay, so conclusions. Are these lights worth the price? In my personal opinion, definitely yes, especially if you're vlogging with something like a GoPro in loaded conditions because these lights will definitely make a huge difference. And also, if you want some practical cheap lights for your videos to use as a background light, as a kicker light, maybe also as a desk light to light your desk and so on, these lights can work wonderfully. Anywho guys, I hope you find this video informative and useful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Peace out.